29. Go. This is one of the world's great theater facilities. It was built as a public asset. It's meant to be open nearly 365 days a year. And that part of theater that combines to an idea of civic obligation, civic space, community space, I think this building holds so beautifully. We have the best artisans and craftspeople in the country. I mean, we simply do. The work of the shops to take your ideas, which are only kind of good, and rendering them in ways that are truly brilliant is one of the great gifts of working at the Guthrie. The Guthrie had no humble pie phase. No, we grew up from nothing, and 40 years later, we became something. It was in the national conversation on the day that it opened its doors. Tyrone Guthrie in 1963, he was already the most famous director in the English language. He wanted a place where he could make theater outside of the commercial theater model. He wanted a place where the art is at the center of it. And I'm very excited about continuing this tradition, which the Guthrie has held for the last 53 years. I've never been in a community where there is such love for live theater. There are 400,000 patrons that participates in the life of the Guthrie, but they're not all here for the same reasons and they're not all here on the same night. And the fact that we have these three theaters in this one venue allows us to do so many things for so many people. One of the Guthrie's former artistic directors, Levi Chule, once said that a community can be measured by the questions its theater asks. And there's something about the theater that provides a safe space for some of our most difficult conversations. Coming into a theater and sitting with 1,100 people dropped into somebody else's story, that's a radical act in today's society. To watch a 450-year-old play of Shakespeare's or a 2,000-year-old play of the Greeks and find that many of the themes, the questions, what's being wrestled with are still questions that we're wrestling with in our own contemporary life is thrilling and exciting. Our job is to make a theater that belongs to the community that we are charged to serve. And taking that responsibility seriously, we have a tremendous obligation in the Twin Cities community, the Upper Midwest, which we also serve. And there's a national and an international community that we also serve. And all of these different communities look to the Guthrie. And I feel a great sense of honor in being in that place in the American theater.